Welcome to Euro Bangla City SATV News, the Shubala Alam with our headlines. Government wants to build a developed, prosperous nation imbued with modern and technological knowledge, said Prime Minister. Narangan City Corporation has ended, vote counting is underway, both Taimo and Selina are optimistic about winning. Drones help to locate criminals. Arsa chief's brother arrested from Okia Rohingya camp. In Cox's bazaar, weapons and drugs are seized. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said that the government wants to build a developed, prosperous nation imbued with modern and technological knowledge to make Bangladesh developed and prosperous. She said this while inaugurating newly constructed Rangpur Divisional Headquarters Complex building. The program was held at the multipurpose hall of the building while the Prime Minister joined it virtually from her official residence, Ghana Bhavan. Sheikh Hasina said that the government is setting up 100 economic zones across the country to expand industrialization for meeting local demand and boost exports. She also asked the owners of industries to set up agricultural products, Processing plants considering those products that grow in their respective areas. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has also directed to find out whether there is landlessness anywhere in the country. Voting for Narangon City Cooperation election has ended. Vote counting is now underway. It continued from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. in 192 centres in 26 wards. Independent mayor candidate Taimur Alam Khandukar and Awamili candidate Serena Hayat Ivy spoke to the media after vote. They are both optimistic about winning. However, Taimur complained that his agents were not allowed to enter some of the centres. Ivy, on the other hand, said voting was slow due to EVMs. Although voter turnout is low in the morning, it is increasing as the day progresses. Members of the armed police battalion have arrested Muhammad Shah Ali, brother of Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army Arsa, Atollah Abu Amar Junoni. The location of the criminals is identified with the help of drones. Detained Shah Ali is expected to be handed over to Ukia police station after interrogation. He was arrested with homemade weapons and drugs. At this time, 1,000 yaba, one domestic gun and one knife were recovered. A man named Sadiqul Islam was rescued blindfolded during the operation. Cox's Bazaar APBN Captain SP Muhammad Naimul Haq confirmed the matter. Details of the arrest will be announced later, he said. The 16th session of National Parliament begins today. President Abdul Hamid addressed the first session of the year as per rules at the beginning of the meeting after the condolence motion and nomination of the presidium. The speaker calls upon the president to address the gathering. The session adjourned after the president's address. A motion of thanks moved on the president's speech. The MPs discussed the proposal throughout the session. President Abdul Hamid convened the session on January first. Like other sessions of the epidemic, this time too, the sitting of the parliament abide by the rules of health. In addition, newer types of coronaviruses have been added to the current prevalences of Omicron. Following a meeting with U.S. Ambassador Earl Miller, Agriculture Minister Abdul Razak said U.S. sanctions on RAP and seven of its current and former officials were not meant to punish Bangladesh but to warn against the violation of human rights. He told reporters after the meeting at the Secretariat today, the U.S. is attaching high importance on human rights that they perceive that the law enforces in Bangladesh have violated human rights in some cases and that those need corrections, the minister said. They hope that Bangladesh could carry out the corrections, he added. We are taking a short break. Stay with Eurobanga City, SATV News. Welcome back. You're watching Eurobanga City, SATV News. Now international news. The U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, reminded the public that masks offer the best protection against 
all COVID-19 variants. It's a critical public health tool for preventing spread of COVID-19. And it is very important to remember that any mask is better than no mask. The primary U.S. health agency said the CDC guidance followed a sudden rise in COVID-19 cases across the globe. The World Health Organization, WHO, reported this week that they had already recorded more than 15 million cases of Omicron. The CDC also said that a well-fitted mask can reduce the transmission of SARS-CoV-2. Four people who were held hostages at a synagogue in the U.S. state of Texas have been safely released more than 10 hours after a man disrupted a religious service and began a tense standoff with the police and the gunman has died. Local reporters said that they heard the sound of explosion, possibly flashbangs and the sound of gunfire on Saturday afternoon shortly before Texas Governor Greg Abbott announced the crisis was over. The Colleyville Police Department said it has first responded to Congregation Beth Israel at 10.41 a.m. local time on Saturday during the Shabbat service, which was being broadcast online. An underwater volcano near the Pacific island of Tonga erupted on Saturday at one point triggering tsunami warnings and evacuation orders. High winds were seen in southern Japan, the west coast of North America and other regions, but the warnings have been lifted with no serious casualties or damage reported. The U.S.-based Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, is seeking a judicial review against a refusal of the Home Office to allow him to personally pay for police protection when in the U.K. Harry said this private security team does not have adequate jurisdiction abroad. He lost his taxpayer-funded police security after stepping back from royal duties in 2020. Prince Harry says he wants to visit his home country with his family but needs to ensure their safety. The application for a judicial review, a challenge in the High Court against the decision of the public body or government department, follows a security incident in London in July 2021 when the Duke's car was chased by photographers as he left a charity event. A legal representative for Prince Harry said the legal claim was filed in September to challenge the decision making behind the security procedures in the hopes that could be re-evaluated for the obvious and necessary protection required. A seminal moment of Spider-Man history sketched on the single page of the Marvel comic just became the most expensive page from the comic book ever sold at auction. The page which depicts Spider-Man's first time donning the infamous all-black suit fetched 3.36 million US dollar at auction earlier this week. According to Heritage Auction, it is becoming the world's most valuable page of original comic book artwork. The auction house didn't reveal the winning bid but whoever it was clearly knew the Spider-Man history. The pages came from the Marvel crossover series Secret Wars in which beloved heroes squared off against classic villains on the planet called Battleworld. In the eighth installment of the limited series published in 1984, Spider encounters an alien symbiote sounds familiar who glooms onto his traditional red and blue suit which he damaged in battle. Now sports news. Novak Djokovic lost his final bid to avoid deportation from Australia on Sunday, ending a sensational 11-day battle over his COVID-19 vaccination status and dashing his dream of a record 21st Grand Slam. In a few dry words, the Chief Justice of Australia's Federal Court, James Alsop, Sunday dispensed with the unvaccinated tennis superstar attempt to reinstate his cancelled visa. The order of the court are that the amended application be dismissed with cost, also upset announcing the unanimous decision on the eve of the first matches at the Australian Open. The 34-year-old defending champion and first seed had been scheduled to play in the evening of the first day. If he had retained the title, he would become the first man tennis player in history to win 21 Grand Slams.
Meanwhile, in China, the capital Beijing has detected its first case of Omicron. Now, less than three weeks to go until the city hosts the Winter Olympic Games. According to city's disease control authority, on Saturday, the infected person had not left the Chinese capital for the past 14 days and had not known exposure to the virus. The authorities had sealed off the person's residential compound and workplace and collected samples for testing from these places. And Japan on Saturday reported more more than 25,000 new coronavirus cases, this near all-time high record last August. A month ago, Japan had fewer than 200 cases a day. Bangladesh will lock horns against England in the seventh match of the ICC Under-19 Cricket World Cup. The Warner Park ambassador will host this Group A clash. The match will start at 7 p.m. Defending champions Bangladesh Under-19 will take on England Under-19 in the Group A contest of ICC Under-19 World Cup on Sunday. Bangladesh Under-19 has played plenty of youth ODIs as a part of their preparation for this tournament. They toured Sri Lanka and India, which gave them more exposure. They had beaten Zimbabwe under-19 in the warm-up game by a massive margin of 155 runs. England under-19, on the other hand, are led to Tom Prest, will be eager to start the tournament with a win. Before ending, we go to the Euro Bangla City SATV News headlines again. Government wants to build a developed, prosperous nation imbued with modern and technological knowledge, said Prime Minister. Narangan City Corporation election has ended. Vote counting is underway. Both Timur and Selina are optimistic about winning. Drones help to locate criminals. Arsa Chief's brother arrested from Ukia Rohingya camp in Cox's Bazar. Weapons and drugs are seized. You're up to date so far here on Eurobanga City SATV News. And to know the latest news, visit www.sctv.tv. Stay with the CTV.